Okay, hi. This video is only going to take about five minutes. We're only going to get the notes for salts for today. Okay, so salt is an ionic compound with a positive ion other than hydrogen and a negative ion other than hydroxide. Remember that's OH minus. Salts have very high melting points. Salts are good conductors of electricity, but only when they're in water. Remember, if something can conduct electricity, it's called an electrolyte. Some examples are sodium chloride. How about calcium chloride? Uh, magnesium bromide. Okay, the next little section is how to prepare salts. You can get salts from what's called a neutralization reaction. And one of them is shown right here. Hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide gives you sodium chloride and water. So, here's the base. And HCl is an acid. So when you combine an acid and a base, you get a salt. In this case, it's the salt that you put on your spaghetti, right? Mm -hmm. That's sodium chloride. But it, a salt is generally, again, anything that's a metal and a non-metal combined. Okay. Um, you can also get salts from a single replacement reaction. So you've got an active metal like group one, sodium or beryllium, anything in group one or group two, you've combined it with combine it with an acid and you, you get salt and you get a metal hydride, something called a metal hydride. You don't really have to worry about that too much though. For example, magnesium plus sulfuric acid you get the salt, in this case, the magnesium is just going to kick out the hydrogen and combine with the sulfate. Almost done. Yep, it's all right. And then it kicks out the hydrogen, okay? So for the most part, I mean, sometimes you get a metal hydrate, but most of the time you're going to get hydrogen gas. And then you can see that bubbling up. All right, the last little section is salts resulting from the combination of strong acids and strong bases are strong. Uh, actually, sorry, they are neutral. My fault. They are neutral. In other words, their pH is going to be about 7 because it takes a strong acid, which neutralizes a strong base. Those resulting from strong acids and weak bases make, well, you could just think about it, if you got a strong acid and a weak base, this is going to overpower the base, so it becomes acidic. An example here is a weak base of ammonia and a hydrochloric acid, which is a pretty strong acid. You end up with a combination of ammonia and chloride, okay, which is somewhat acidic. And those resulting from weak acids and strong bases make basic solutions for the same reason. The base is going to out-strengthen the weak acid. Strong base, weak acid, you end up with a basic solution. Example here is something called um, ethanoic acid and then a strong base of sodium hydroxide and then you get sodium ethanoate and then water. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, I'll put some homework up there. I'm going to assign a quiz too, but I'll post it on Classroom. Bye.